wide gap hooks and offset worm hooks are really popular lately, or they've been popular for quite a while. It seems as if people have forgotten about straight shank hooks. But the straight shank hook still has its place in your tackle box. It's still a very viable and important tool. Um, I believe it actually gets a better hook set than an EWG hook. And for situations like Carolina rigs, I like it better because of the fact that it's got less metal to it, and therefore my Carolina rig is going to float higher. Um, this is a 3 aught VMC hook. But the biggest problem with the straight shank hook, of course, as we all know, is that when you rig it on your hook, you have a good chance of it pulling down. And they do. They, they tend to slide down the shank most often. And that's why people use the uh, offset hooks, the WGs and just the offset worm hooks, so they don't slide down. Well, there's a way around that. I found an easy way to solve that problem. Take a piece of string tubing, 1 16th of inch in diameter. This is used for electrical work. They slide it over the wires, the bare wires, so it doesn't throw out your circuitry. We're going to cut about 3 eighths of an inch. Now we work it, slide it over the point of the hook. And then we just carefully work it around the bend. Don't put the point through your finger. Slide it up. Get it about an eighth of an inch from the eye. Get your bic. Heat her up. There we go. I like to take the top here and just kind of buckle it a little bit. Watch out, that's going to be hot. <laughs> Kind of give it a little, a little lip. Okay. Heat the rest of the way. There we go. Let that cool off. Now, I'm using red shrink tubing. You could use white, green, black, blue, whatever color you can get your hands on. It doesn't really matter. I like the red. It gives a little bit of target, though. The light, the, the lighter does black in it. Probably clean right off nicely, though. Let's do, yeah, see, there you go. Okay, we don't want that wet, though. Okay. Now, when we take our worm and rig it, the worm is going to slide over it, no problem. It just expands to go over it. Then it's going to contract back around the shank once you get past the Okay, and now, look at that, look at that worm, look how it stretches. It doesn't slide down, nowhere near, I mean, it, it will, it will slide down eventually. I pull hard enough, you know, but the other way, it was, it would have been down to my thumb already, but not like this. That really keeps it up there good. So there you go. Now you've got yourself... A deadly little hook that's going to keep your worm in place. And this is one of the benefits of having a straight shank hook. Look at the angle that the worm comes through that bait. You know, here I'll slide this over the hook point so you can see a better. See the angle? That's the angle. That's the angle of the point going through the bait. Straight up. Whereas EWGs, they would kind of lay flat on it. But not this. Not these straight shank hooks. Don't give up on straight shank hooks. They're very. Very good tool. And there you go. Ready to go. Catch a big one. Once again, all you need is some heat shrink tubing, something to cut it with, something to heat it with, and your favorite brand of straight shank hook. I'm using a VMC. You can use Gamis, Kamikatsus. You can use owner, you can use mustad, eel claw, whatever you whatever you feel like using. Daichi, you name it. I just happen to be using VMCs today. And that's it. Another tip from the bassholes.com.